I recently shared a video around how job ads are changing and how to keep up with these changes. Because if done right, job ads will attract the best and most relevant candidates to a role. So whilst it's great to ensure your adverts are reaching the right audience, or applicants should we say, it's equally as important to ensure the content you're pushing is equally up to scratch. So the worst thing you can do is to tear a perfectly suitable applicant by using phrases that may alienate your readers. So here's a quick rundown of some commonly used words and phrases that should never be used in a job advert. Phrase number one, the candidate. You might find it a little strange to see this one on the list, but let's just think about it for a second. Referring to the candidate in a job ad when it's precisely them who you're writing for doesn't really make much sense, does it? Writing like this creates an extra layer of distance between you and the candidate as you're talking at, at applicants rather than talking to them, which is really disengaging. Try replacing any mentions of the candidate with the word you, and you'll see a shift in your ad's engagement levels. Phrase number two, must be enthusiastic with a positive attitude. Every word in character space counts in the world of job ad. So don't waste your time on counterproductive phrasing like this. Use your space wisely. And it's even possible for a candidate to confidently self-assess in traits like being enthusiastic. Your job ad should function as an initial screening stage of your hiring process. And these cliches just get in the way of your job ad doing its job. Phrase number three, team synergy or streamline our team. If you look at Textio, which is a jobless writing platform, the word synergy is one of the biggest turn-off words for job seekers. It's a term they all pretty much hate. So when used, engagement genuinely goes down. Keep it simple and clear and say you're looking for someone to help make the team more efficient. Avoid all of the hot air jargon. I read a study recently that states men will apply for a job if they tick 60% of the job ad boxes, but women will only apply if they tick 100%. So your jargon could be viewed as intimidating or causing more damage than you actually think. Phrase number four, recent graduates. This might be another surprising one, but unless you're advertising for a graduate scheme, making reference to the fact you're looking for someone straight out of university actually staggers on the edge of age discrimination. The government's business champion for older workers has expressed the term should actually be banned from job ads completely and suggested there should be sanctions against companies that use it in their adverts at all, as it contributes to older applicants being frozen out of the job market. Similar phrases like ambitious young people could also get you into a little bit of hot water as well. So the next time that you're posting your job ad online, try doing these two checks. Does it include any phrasing that could be seen as unfair or discriminating in any way? Are there any words or phrases or jargon in there that even you couldn't define if you were asked to. Synergy, for example. And let me know how you got on.